Hello? I know. Ah, and, it bu- you? and it really bugs you. It doesn't know. Hey. No, nothing you do bugs me. You're like, uh, you're like an ant. You're like an I ant. I think 99.9% like... of the things I do and say bug you. You're like a, you're like a, you're like a little ant. That Makes me 100% like, happy. That crawls up to a, a majestic buffalo and like bites on his hoof. And you're like, oh, I did something. Oh, I know him. And the majestic buffalo does not give a crap. Uh-huh. Do you know what the Are majestic... you the buffalo? I, I, did, I didn't say what the analogy was pertaining to. All I'm saying is the majestic buffalo has to start the podcast. So, uno, dos, tres, everybody. This is a podcast. And I am the majestic buffalo. <laughs> 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 I'm out of beer. I need to get another beer. And today we have Jessica Heading. Say hello, Jessica Heading. Oh, Jonah Goldberg is on the TV. Say hello, Jonah. J- 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 what? J- J- hey, Jonah. Jonah you probably hey, don't Jonah. listen to the show. But, uh... <laughs> Not after last week when I made fun of his stupid thing. Oh, you did, didn't you? That was uh, great. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and also we have a gringo as a hello, Matt. Hey, uh, hey, I did want to ask you something. Um, oh, so sorry. the uh, the CBO, uh, I didn't know if you were going to vote. Like, what do you, what you thought about that? You did this before, didn't you? No, no. Is that you? I, Is this I'm, you? I'm, 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 Get out of here! Get out of here! Get out of here! You broke my glasses. You broke my glasses. Good, good. Get the hell out of here. Get out of here. He, bo- he body slip. What's your What's your name? Hey, you, the girl. What's your name? <laughs> I have so many. Okay. <laughs> yeah, um, you got a new Can one somebody too. call the police? I'll write them down call for you. The police. <sighs> Whatever. Did that work? The whole noise thing. Did that work? <sighs> yeah, like through I think... my. I think I broke my. Actually, I think I broke my head 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 thing. The head. The, the thing. <laughs> head thing. Your head, head thing. thing? Yeah, Your I head like, gear. I, bro- I broke my head thing yeah. and I can't think straight no more. <laughs> <laughs> That's disconcerting. I can hear myself last echoing. Uh, I can't oh. hear anything. I can't hear. I can't hear. I mean, that. I can't hear anything bad. No, I don't think I broke anything. I think we're good. Um, yeah. So that was uh, that was uh, super uh, super comedic radio theater for everybody. And Matt, a reenactment, but Matt, based Matt on real that. life because Matt. that did happen once before. Before we were like the hipsters to the Gianforte. This is true. Because yeah. he did he did choke slam me. What's okay. with what's with uh, Italians with the last name for with the word forte in their last names are always getting into trouble, right? Oh, Ma- oh. Manafort and now Gianforte. Yeah. yeah. Do you know what I, forte I means? That. Is it like a castle fort? Is that like ca- yeah, or is it loud? Yeah, it comes from the Latin, uh, and you it would means. Would know this. Yes, I would, and it means strength, <laughs> like fortitude. Strength. Oh. Yeah, according do to you Rush have Lim- a bumper sticker? I do. According to, to Rush Limbaugh, it's manly and uh, what was the other word he used? Uh, Studly. Studly. <laughs> that was so pathetic. <laughs> At first, I thought it was being uh, kind of tongue in cheek, but then when I kept ready, reading it, I thought, huh, okay, I guess he really, really buys into it. Yeah, I don't he's, know. Really, he's, he's really going for it. Yeah. Well, no, I mean. This is what this is what he does, right? We've all listened to him. Is that he says one thing, but the way he says it lets you know that he's thinking otherwise. And so he's just like, I I totally condemn you know this studly and manly man who crushed this millennial you know spineless jerk or what. It's like okay, whatever. Yeah, th- this uh, the people defending this is absolutely insane. Yeah, it is. I'm I'm so furious about it, and y'all know I never get mad, like no, ever. No, I never. No. I don't get mad. I am so angry about it that I'm gonna get another beer. Do you think the beer helps with this PMS? I think I think so, um, but you can't. He can't smoke with the birth control. Oh. Because it could cause clots. So. You would know this as yeah. a pharmacist. Oh wait, he's back. He's back. He's back. That's very true. Very true, Jessica. Yeah. <laughs> that was a that was a very clever witticism there, Jessica. Oh, thank yeah. you, Matt. <laughs> 
very incisive <laughs> observation you had there. I don't need either yeah. of you. Do you guys realize that? I could do I could do both of your voices with j- all better. of your personality. I can <laughs> swimming inside of that big head of yours. I can do I can do both of your voices better than you can, and I can make better observations based on your personality. But can you say hello? You uh, that's true. I'm, that's weird. Yeah, I can't do that. That's basically okay. The only Sorry, I, I have to stick around. So, so I mean, let let's just for for shits and giggles, let, let's let's just say the reporter was being a dickhead. Yeah. Okay. Which he could have been. I don't know. I wasn't there. But this is the guy's job. That's his job. The congressman's job is to be a congressman, right? Now, who of you have been able to choke slam somebody that? got in your face and still kept your job other right. than you yeah yeah right and the guy hasn't I, even gotten the job yet I, I had two people thrown out of my my store the other day that i had to throw out and i you always have to be polite but firm you know because you come out looking like the good guy not them they look like the crazy person who would choke slam somebody in the middle of a job interview <laughs> because he's still interviewing for this job cool, he hasn't clear. even been elected yet it's clearly clearly a very manly and uh studly man no i yeah i don't i mean it's just kind of exasperating because we shouldn't have to explain this stuff right see this is the 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 problem is that on our side is we have this contingent of people who are right theoretically about and we've said this about how manliness is is just not a virtue that our society respects anymore but this is brutishness, which is different. Yeah. This is being a thug. This is yeah. being a scumbag. You don't. This is not what a manly man does. This is what a scumbag does. And if you don't understand the difference, you're probably a scumbag. A manly man doesn't fly off the handle and start beating the shit out of people who are asking him tough questions. That is a thug. Yeah. That that is that is a piece of crap. You know. We, it, Part of the definition of being a manly man is being a gentleman, is being a yes. rational, thoughtful person. That yes, you can use violence when it's when it's necessary and when you're forced to do it. You can beat the hell out of anyone who's around you, or at least you can try. But you do it judiciously. You do it rationally. You do it logically. You don't do it because some guy is sticking a microphone in your yeah. face, which is going to happen a million times if you get this job. So this is not yeah. and this is not about manliness. This is this is between douchebagginess, scumbagginess, and being a rational human being. That's he, what gets me so ink- upset about it. He could have solved this whole thing with just two words. No comment. Yeah, I mean, look, yeah. the guy, the, the guy would have kept pressing him, and and so what? And so yeah. what? <laughs> what oh happens? It's it, it it's, just yeah, it's it, it it blows my mind. It, and I'll tell you, this is my theory on why this this change. It's not it's not Trump. I don't think. I don't I don't think this is Trump. I think this started back in '08 or before when the Democrats started showing their hand and saying we're using Alinsky tactics. Right. And then the Rub- Republicans or the Tea Party th- are getting so frustrated that they're using some kind of bastardized formula that they think is a Lis- Alinsky tactics, which oh, both sure. are wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Oh, no, no, no. We're totally doing it. That's the most annoying thing is that is that, you know, the screaming idiots on Twitter and social media, and I, I really, I'm just getting sick of it, is the screaming idiots on, on social media and Twitter who whine and whine about Alinsky tactics, like, they're the ones who say we have to fight fire with fire, and we have to do the exact same thing <laughs> that the other side does to fight them back. It's like, uh, oh, okay, so these things aren't wrong per se, they're just wrong for the other side to use. It's okay for us to turn into fascists, uh, as long as it's. But it's bad for them to be fascists. That's the. That's I get it. Yeah. Right. It's embarrassing. I'm yeah. embarrassed. I mean, the yeah. reason if 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 they would if they would get over this image of Trump, they oh Trump saved us. It wasn't. Tr- it it was just people didn't want Hillary. Just get out of the way. They will fall on their own sword. It's. I don't think you need to go to this extreme and get this angry for people that. If you showed a person a picture 
of Elizabeth Warren or somebody else, they wouldn't know who it was. The, 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 it's just, you're 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 fighting against the wind here. Just just let them let them say what they think and say, oh well, you know, you're killing children and you're doing this by doing the budget. And you know, we know that's not all true, and they sound ridiculous. But then, then stuff like this happens, or they come back and and say even more ridiculous claims. Yeah, but yeah. we have become that caricature that the liberals said yes. that the conservatives the were. Caricature? What the? What that's, is that? A, yeah. You don't know that word? A really? caricature? Is that what you said? We've become the caricature. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever heard that word? Like, like anyone has ever said it to you? Or caricature? Is that yeah, how you say it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, regular people no. in the English-speaking world they Let's say caricature. See. Oh crap! Yeah, caricature. It is, yeah. isn't it? Okay. <laughs> Here, let's let's listen to Google say it. Oh, you can make him say it. Oh yeah. Yeah. Here, can y'all hear it? Uh-uh. Is it gonna be weird if I'm just sitting here listening to it? Caricature. 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 Oh, yeah. But we have, we have, we've become a parody of what. You know, we've said that we are, and we are literally <laughs> what the liberals have been making fun of us for. Well, we say that? we're not really like that. That's just what they say we're like, and you know, yeah. we're we're not all that kind of, um, you know, silliness where we're going to go out and defend this kind of thuggery. And then it, one after the other of these conservatives were coming out last night, making total asses of themselves yeah, because before what before what before the facts yes, came before out before the facts came out they didn't they and who even do they wait. accuse of that every time every single time so they didn't even wait they couldn't even wait two hours for a statement to come out they were out automatically you know saying well you know we, we don't really know what happened well that's fine but then to go ahead and attack the reporter no, they, they, they said they he was knew. lying about they it. Just, yeah, but they knew then, yeah, when, yeah, right. when, of all people, three Fox reporters said, "No, nah, this really happened. Actually, it was a lot worse." Well, that was the that was the best part of the night. The that was the best and part then of they the night. Well, okay, but he deserved it. No, yeah, but they went out right. and they 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 attacked the reporter, even as firsthand reports were coming out on to Twitter of people that saw it. But those weren't good enough because they were just from people from BuzzFeed. So they didn't believe that. Mm -hmm. And then the audio came out, right? The audio came out, which obviously sounded awful. Still didn't believe that. Well, and it contradicted their statement. That was the thing. Like it clearly contradicted the statement. Clearly the statement did not match the audio. Still didn't believe it. So they doubled down into defending this guy. And then when the Fox News team released their report, it was just like, obviously, some of them did. Some of them did kind of go back and kind of hedge a little bit like, oh, well, you know, this Fox team saw it. But there are some that still continue to attack oh, the yeah. report. Oh, I yeah, yeah, am yeah, dumbfounded. Right. Even yeah. even yeah. when even when some people on the right, like who are journalists, are coming out and saying, hey, this guy is a decent guy. Like, he would yeah. not do this. This is not something that he does. This, he's not known for this, you know. It doesn't matter. It's it's, it's just it's I... pure it's pure tribalism, and, and this is this is what I feared would happen, and this is why the the, the event is such a, a terrible thing is that it's showing what happens when you have a person of no character at all, of low character at the top, and he sets the tone for the rest of the country, and he excuses this kind of thing, and he and he he coddles it, and he encourages it, and now we have a bunch of people who are who are going along with it right and it's very dangerous it's it's uh you know they all you think actually it's a... went a step further in talking about campos duffy's remark and saying oh, yeah. that she just favorited that did you see that I yeah saw that. That's like weird. you should be you should be ashamed that you're lowering yourself and being a scumbag but no you're proud of it that's great. God, that is so bizarre. You should play that, what she said. Oh, That's God. just... Oh, something just came through. Breaking Jared Kushner under scrutiny by FBI as part of Russia that investigation. That didn't just come through. I sent that to you half an hour ago. And that just came through on my Twitter, which is the only thing that I pay attention to. So, really? Um, really? Yeah, yeah. Really? Well, my Twitter is very accurate, but you are kind of... I mean, I don't, and I don't want to be rude about it, but... Yeah. Okay, here's... Uh, 
Here's, you get all of your news from me two minutes here's... before you find it. <laughs> this is true. Yeah, this and is last you last it. night was crazy. Like, every time I found something, I would run yeah. to the DMs to post it, and it was there already. I'm like, ah! You, but, oh! you would send it anyway. <laughs> oh, yeah, of course I did. Person. Yeah, because yeah, you go nuts. It's, it's funny. Okay, here's here's stupid uh, Campo stuffy. Here we go. Which he's, She's always been a moron. Oh. And this guy was not a reporter looking for a fair story. He was obviously doing a takedown on him. Um, and so he, this guy's got his backup. He got a little bit of Montana justice. And I have dealt with... Montana justice. That's what it, that's what it was. Was that audible at all? Just yeah, yeah. I heard it. Well, you couldn't hear it. You were tweeting. We could all hear it. But, uh, yeah. I was typing in her name because I don't... <laughs> <laughs> she is. Uh... Well, she was on. She was on the real world, right? And she's married to a politician that was also in the real world. Oh, I right? know he was there too. Yeah, yeah. She's uh, married to him. Well, I mean, I know that now, but I didn't know that before. So she. I've so always, she's always liked her. You know, again, it, she has just turned into the stupidest Trumper. I'm. Mean, it's like sh- just shameless, shameless. And here's the thing. Here is my my disclaimer about this. I say that because the most extremist cult-like Trumpers say the stupidest things and they do it over and over and over again. But not every Trump person is like that. There's lots of reasonable, rational, decent human beings who are Trump people who, you know, will not back this kind of stuff up, but they'll say, look, you know, I still support them, whatever. Um, well, but I'm, fine man, with, I'm fine with the, that. The I mean, because there's members, some people, yeah, they have fine. party loyalty. That's fine. Yeah, that's fine. But the cult members who make every excuse possible and just look like just shameless, you know, idiots because of it. It is yeah. it is pathetic. I mean, it's pathetic what you people are doing. And she has been doing this for a while, and it's really just, just sad. So, so what she's saying here is that this reporter was trying to... Yeah, he was, uh, I don't know what she was doing. She was trying, he was, it was an unfair question. And all he was doing was asking about the CBO score uh, on the Obamacare replacement bill, which is an absolutely rational, reasonable yes. question to ask. This guy is supporting the new bill, yeah. and he's asking about the CBO score. If you can't answer that question, you don't belong in Congress. But unless... You know, all of your supporters are tribalist scumbags who think that you can beat up a reporter because he's asking the question that you don't like, <laughs> which yeah, is pretty yeah. close to fascism. If you... <laughs> and he literally said that he was going to wait for the CBO score to come out before he commented. Oh, I didn't on... know that part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So then it came out and now he, he's trying to hide and not answer it the night before the election. So, I mean, come on. He was just ticked that the score came out (laughs) the night before the election he was going to have to answer for it but i mean that's Mm -hmm. kind of frightening he went from you know you know i'm not going to answer blah 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 refer you to what's his name to boom i'm throwing you on the floor and punching in the face you know i've wanted to do that to y'all once or twice but you know oh i'm sure yeah well you're all in different states so yeah and you keep sending those uh punch in the face boom gifts to me which is very uh, threatening um mm-hmm. yeah yeah you Maybe deserve you that those no, well that's not the point the point is that you keep sending them and i have asked the police for a restraining order and they this they is really laugh terrible at you too. yeah they kind of <laughs> laughed at me and they said that you can't get a restraining order on threatening gifts over dm which is obscene because if I remember the did you show them the obscene things in the DM I showed every single one I showed them and I said if you read the Federalist Papers the founders don't say it explicitly but they generally support the idea of restraining orders against threatening gifts in Twitter Mm. DMs Mm. really I can can make a pretty good case yeah 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 Yeah. hmm Mm-hmm. So yeah, this is this is just a, a flaming dumpster fire full of excrement. Um, that's the right wing has become, and yeah. they're all just a bunch of scumbags. And we don't belong around. anywhere. No, we don't know. We're orphans. We're complete orphans. We are because we because <laughs> because we don't think that punching uh, reporters in the face is a rational response. To speak, speak, speaking of uh, uh, kind of interesting behavior. Uh, it Is seems like model every day there's a video that comes out of some oh, man. <laughs> person 
some, <laughs> yelling some, at a brown person. Oh some, gosh. Some person, of, if, some if person of lower melanin skin count. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, we, we prefer melanin deficient. <laughs> yeah, right. But, uh, they're, 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 I, now, some, some of them, I think they, I don't know. I don't, maybe they baited him. I don't know, but some of yeah, them. Yeah, oh no. No, you wait. You, you have to. You you have to. You have to give him that. Is he that like, baited there him so by there's... speaking Spanish? You mean? Well, <laughs> that's oh, that's what. That, that, not that one. Yeah, I think, that one's I think crazy. some of the maybe the early ones, but yeah. like these yeah. last couple, it's like wow. Well, the I mean, Walmart one. I don't know if this like, one is insane. coming increasingly worse, or if it's just because or, everybody's got cameras. Everybody's now. got cameras. Yeah, it's it, yeah. That's the thing. It really could be the second, but man, that last one was crazy right i mean there's like this old white woman and and the hispanic woman it, to be fair like she records in the middle of the conversation so who knows what happened before yeah she says that the hispanic woman was being rude and the hispanic woman says no i wasn't you shoved your cart into me while i was trying to get medicine or whatever and then she says well go back to mexico now ironically this person actually happened to be from mexico <laughs> <laughs> So the epithet fit, but that's still not nice of you to say. Anyway, she uh, well, we she... say it to you. We don't mean it. <laughs> well, like... Oh, that's good to know. After yeah. 247 podcasts of hearing this daily, in uh, yeah. you know, like we mean it in a loving manner. Do... Like we oh. hope we know where to find you when Trump kicks you out <laughs> of the country, <laughs> so that yeah. we can send you money. And and. Yeah. and... Wow. Je- Jessica, you better watch it because I don't know which half of you is you... going to Mexico. Oh, you know what you would just do. mind your P's and Q's, or <laughs> do they? Ha- I don't know whatever that is in Spanish. P's and no, that's J. I don't know what a Q is. Uh, I know what you jerks would do. This is what you jerks would do if uh, if Trump deported me into a FEMA camp in Mexico. You would send me food from Taco Bell. Is what you would do. <laughs> that is the kind of crap. That's that makes food, right? Yeah, you like that kind of stuff, don't you, Mexican? Anyway, um, <laughs> so so you okay? So the argument happens, and you're like, all right, well, you know, either side could be right here, but then someone off camera is like, hey, you leave her alone, that ain't right, and and or she says, she, she looks like you're low class said, or oh, great, and uh, can I say it? Yeah, or are you gonna bleep it? <laughs> Go ahead. Uh-oh. Well, I'll bleep it. You can say oh, it. great. And- Calling oh, me. no, you gotta bleep that. She, I, I was I'm just like, quoting, whoa. I'm quoting her. That's what yeah. she and said. The, you could hear people in the store like, whoa, <laughs> no, you can't do that. that, that, that even this was even in, in Northwest <laughs> Arkansas. And even that's in when, Bentonville, Arkansas, you can't do that. Uh, a white guy from Northwest Arkansas was like, whoa, okay, ma'am, you're gonna have to stop, okay? Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and and what's 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 really ironic is Bentonville, Arkansas, is the home of Walmart. Walmart. That's where Walmart yeah. began. So it was even more kind of a kind of a big thing. But yeah, that one is just very clear. Like once you start tossing n words out, <laughs> you are clearly in the wrong. You're not. You're done. Yeah. It's over. So Walmart says they're gonna ban her once they figure out who she is. And <laughs> She's a, I mean, you know, she looked older. She's she's an elderly American, so she comes from a time. Oh, so you just assume that all where... elderly Americans are racist. Also, That's she's very from the South, and yeah, I yes, yeah. I think that all elderly people from the South are racist. This is true. Uh, but uh, but that's no excuse for for what happened. So yeah, I, it could be it could be that that. Uh, that uh, it's only happening more because everybody has cameras, but no. Well, the, the should be second one this. went crazy. It is even worse. Oh, I thought. The, I don't know if, if you saw the one I sent you, but there's a guy in a wheelchair. Oh yeah, that one's crazy. Oh, okay, gosh. that one was crazy because the the man, which which suspiciously the the Hispanic man sounds a lot like you, Amber. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, oh, that's weird. But uh, anyway, he, he's talking to his mom in no Spanish, God. and they're from Puerto Rico, which is a part of America. Oh, right. <laughs> they're American citizens. Right. But, uh, you know, for some reason, this insulted that guy so much. I mean, I believe in assimilation, but, I mean, Spanish is the official language of Puerto Rico, and second, it's none of his business. Right. 
Well, but he look, went out look, of his way. Well, look, even it, uh, first of all, English is not the official language of America. I think it should be. I would I would vote for that, but it's not. And even if it was, wow, you are traitorous. I, d- I am a little bit. Uh, but even if it was. Um, You're still you, allowed to speak other you, languages. You should be are allowed to speak me? other languages. Come I mean, on. Not this is a, these are, see, me. Like, you're these, not allowed to speak anything but English. Do you know in other, na- other countries my, they these speak are, multiple upset. languages? These are the oh kind my. of scumbags that, like, you know, will we'll sing uh, America and how beautiful it is and the home of the free and the land of the brave and whatever. But, but you're not English. not free if you speak Spanish or any. Well, let's make it clear. If you speak any European languages, you're fine. Or, yeah. uh, but not any that happen to uh, rape and pillage Latin American countries and then force them to take on the, just Spanish, just Spanish. French is charming. And if you have a British accent, oh my God, you get like a TV show. Uh, if you have a British accent, um, any other accent is okay. But if you have a, if you speak Spanish, then you're the scum of the earth. So that's, Mm -hmm. that's basically, well, I mean, that's verified on this show. This is very true. Yes, this is true. What do you um, think about, you know, did you see that I new bill about um, remittance taxes? Yeah, you, uh, you're talking about remittances to Mexico? Only to Mexico, not to European nations <laughs> or any Asian countries <laughs> where actually more money is going out to those places yeah, than yeah, to yeah. Mexico. What, I don't know. I mean, I don't, I don't do know. Think? I don't know about the constitutionally constitutionality of that. I guess I, I, I don't find that as, you know, offensive. Um, clearly they're targeting a certain people, but I just think it's stupid and it's not going to work. I think work that's because... really offensive to me that they're only targeting certain <laughs> people. If the point is you want to raise money, then tax the remittances that are going out, but don't just go after the ones that are going to Mexico. <laughs> are you idiots? Yeah, I think that might I think that might have the same problem as uh as uh his Muslim ban, right? I mean it's I would the, say you call it a travel ban. This is the the way that judges have shot down the travel ban. Okay, Newt Gingrich is on TV saying, President Trump, turn off the television. This is amazing. Breaking tonight, breaking news on Fox News. <laughs> What? <laughs> Gingrich is telling Trump to turn off the television. Are you kidding? No, that's what it says breaking news, breaking the night. Um but but he's the, telling him on the television. Yeah, there he, <laughs> well, then he'll be confused. Now what do I do, Newt? I can't see you. What do I do? <laughs> <laughs> um, so so the, the basis upon which a lot of these judges have struck down the, the travel ban is that they say um, the, the thing itself, the, the executive order might have been constitutional, but... You, in your speeches, told us that you wanted to ban to, to ban Muslims uh, based on their religion. So that's unconstitutional. So ironically, because he talked about it so long, that's screwing up his ability to supposedly protect Americans with these these travel bans. Much in the same way, it might be constitutional to tax remittances that go to a certain country, uh, but it probably won't be constitutional given that he's talked shit about Mexicans for so long. Right. <laughs> so... Well, I mean, I can see maybe I might be in the minority because they might think this is a creative way to pay for their border right, wall. Right, right, right. Yeah. But I'm just saying it's awfully stupid in the fact that they could have said – Let's just tax tax all remittances. All, yeah. all remittances. Yeah, 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 right. And then no, it there is no fine. look. That, you're right. There's something insidious and something un-American about targeting certain ethnicities or ethnic groups. Um, mm. So yeah, but um, mm. but uh, or at least it's un-American in the last hundred years. It's it was very pro-American in the years before that. But, right, and it wouldn't go after businesses. It would only go after personal after, transfers. After personal so transfers, yeah, they are yeah. very much trying you to know, go you know what after. He, what he, what he does is, is this is like what we're seeing is the expression of all these these false or misleading um, right wing blog uh, narratives 
and and so you know people honestly believe that there's like billions and billions of dollars flowing out of america through illegal aliens sending money back home and like you said they're ignoring all the money going to asia and going to other places and 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 whatever because they're so vindictive about this one ethnic group like if you have you know if you're above a certain level on my skin color chart that it's highly offensive yeah. that you're sending money back home um well, so i keep swatches with me at all oh, times absolutely i think oh, you should yeah. to see, to... like, does this include yelling no no to just avert a stern warning okay this is a stern <laughs> warning and then i just that's what i do yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. you would be getting tortillas, like stuff like that. Right. Oh, yeah. Walk that off, sense. you know, down the aisle. Yeah, yeah no, that makes sense. And like, what the fuck? <laughs> there was a great, there was a great video. Did you see that great video this week of a, like a Mexican guy who was drinking at a grocery store and a guy walks up to him and he's like, what are you doing here, man? And he's like, no, 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 I know the owner. He told me I could uh, drink right here. And then he's like, what? hey, get out of here. I will exterminate your family if you don't get out of like, wow. <laughs> okay, that guy needs to be deported because that was crazy. But... I have no idea what you're talking about. Someone, someone tweeted it to me and they said, is this you? <laughs> like, well, no comment. I mean, I can't, I know it's not me, but I, because the guy was like four, four foot six. To be Mexican and they assume it's super Mexican. Yeah, oh yeah, those are, those are half my tweets, you know. Um, but, uh, but that guy was not me because he was like four foot six and I'm four foot six and a half. And, uh, and also, uh, but I cannot say that I have not been that guy in the past. So, you know, there you go. Here's a, a headline Mexico politician mocked for campaign hashtag. Which is hashtag campaign hashtag. <laughs> That's great. Is that a real story? It's not yeah, the he, onion. Well, he tweeted it out, so it must. And be. he looks like the guy that's running. Looks like he he has like the world's best mustache, but his oh. eyebrows look like too many mustaches. Oh, that's weird. Oh, that's really. really that's oh, weird. yeah, I see that. And so Netflix picked it up, and they put Frank, Frank Underwood hashtag campaña. Oh, that's Hashtag. good. Right. <laughs> how far? How far did you guys get watching that uh, series? Um, what's it called? Uh, Frank yep. Underwood. The Thrones. Yeah. No. 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 The House of, Cards. House of Cards. House of Cards. I yeah. never it started good? it. Uh, the first season is really good. The first season is worth watching. How about you, man? I'm watching Boss now. Yeah. I what? Know. See how you don't answer my question? Bosh. Wait. 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 Matt, what are you watching? Bosh. Oh, Bosh. We watched the first season of Bosh. Pretty mm. good. Yeah, you didn't answer, you, you're not answering my question. We've never seen the, the House of Cards. Well, then that, no. then say the you didn't house. see that. Jesus, God. Is it okay. good? I mean, it's the first, it... No, I'm the... sorry. Are you okay. wanting to talk about the House For... of Cards? No, I'm not. I just want somebody to answer my question! <laughs> <sighs> The first season Jeez, first is he's mad because we ask hey. questions that make him hey. mad, and now he's mad because just we don't, don't answer Just his listen. Questions. Don't ask me about the CBO hey. score. Hey, I what are you doing here? I swear to God. What? Hmm? Doing here? Hey. What? And what are you doing here? What? You know the manager I or just, something? I I just uh, I just having a drink. It's okay. Actually, I need oh, to get another beer. Okay. So you keep making fun of me. That's fine. I don't care. <laughs> Wait, did he leave again? Did. Okay, so yeah, I think. Uh, we really need to have an intervention. Okay. I mean, this is really being a problem about his his transformation. Just, oh, hey! Silence. So He's can... trying to sneak up oh, on okay, us I'm now. I've now, noticed. I'm trying to get back really quick. So, did you? All right. So, how hardly did you laugh when you heard that Trump didn't let Sean Spicer meet? You know. <laughs> I didn't the... laugh at all. I thought it was mean, and I'm starting to feel sorry for Spicy. Oh, poor Spicy. Yeah, Dana Perino feels bad for Spicy. I, I just I... stuff on purpose, it's just to be a jerk. No, <laughs> I get. <laughs> I guess I, I guess I do kind of feel bad for You're him. just a mean person. You're laughing. <laughs> I just I mean it would be like what would it be like? That would be like uh like if I'm if I'm who like if I met who's Matt's hero? Uh, um Jimmy Fly Snooka? Snooka that guy? What? Jimmy Snooka Fly Snooka, what's that guy's name? What? I don't know that guy's name. Uh, no. Well he's dead, so Okay. Um if I'm if I met Robert E. Lee Right. If I met, oh. here's the thing, if I like 
had a meeting with Robert E. Lee, and yeah. uh, and it, I could have invited you and Jessica, but instead, oh, oh, we're like going to Robert E. Lee. Oh my God. Okay. All but right, I right. but I <laughs> instead invite people who don't give a damn about Robert E. Lee. Oh, shit. Like if you invited Mayor Landrew, <laughs> like someone that wanted to like. Oh, oh, that ain't right. Wow. Okay. Man. Yeah. Uh, that would that is kinda, Did you make that point about... Uh, uh, wait, I, I should we... <laughs> I don't want to get off into religious territory. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll do that later. Um, okay, so, so Jessica, Jessica has a new name. Oh, and, uh, and this one she developed herself. So her new name is Symphoa Exigua. <laughs> You can't even say it. I yeah, I'm usually pretty good at taxonomic names because they're just Latin. call me caricature. But this k- k- symptoma exigua. Now tell us what a symptoma exigua means and or is. This is what you are. And, this is no, what this you is what are. you are. You, what are. you are. You are. You are. It's you. Symptoma exigua is Whatever. a type of parasite Whatever. that enters fish's gills. Eats their tongue and then replaces it. Yeah, it's pretty yeah, disgusting. And then smiles at you. And you're, like, <laughs> you're like, hi, guys. How's it going? Uh, it's me. Uh, Mr. Mr. Lice. So nice. So How are you doing? Yeah, so, so uh, Hey Pash Legomenon just discovered this really disgusting thing that that uh, eats up fish's tongues and then replace them it's really weird yeah. so but i've known about this for a long time and so there's these yeah, really disgusting a... pictures no, I'm, yeah because if you get of... if you've been on the internet you've seen everything <laughs> oh, yeah. oh god yeah. and so <laughs> yeah we've seen that picture but it's still pretty disgusting yeah it's you should i mean it's yeah it's weird what but, weird things do y'all search for on the internet i don't search for nothing it comes to me you, we we, don't you, find it. you sent that to me that's how these things happen i have no, weird you terrible you acquaintances before. how yeah. bad are you at this excuse because i keep, befriend, I I keep of befriending people of low character who watch southern south korean caricatures <laughs> <laughs> it's like, Man, what the heck? And I'm like, what? This is like our own little club. It's just you and me. Yeah. And they're like, this, this is this is screwed up, man. I, I don't know. I'm like, nah, it's funny. <laughs> and then now he, he's like watching his back. Because <laughs> of all the, the weird stuff I send him. <sighs> Y'all do send each other some weird stuff. Oh, you don't even know. We, we protect you from the really weird stuff. Yeah. Wait a I second. There's you know weirder stuff. Yeah, we have we have a a a private DM within the DM that I'm we scared. keep private from you to mm. protect your innocent eyes. Wow. Yeah. Oh, here's my favorite story this week. Texas approves feral hog hunting by hot air balloon. <laughs> oh my gosh. That is such oh, a that's really cool. thing to yeah. do. <laughs> Pogs from helicopters, but now you can do it from hot air balloons. You can do it while you meander through the sky in a hot air balloon. So now we have the plot for up to. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> up, up is such a great movie. Okay, here's the thing about Up. Here's, here's the only thing. You're the grumpy old man. We already know. The only thing you need to know about Up is after an hour, shut it off. The second half is worthless. It's not what? worthwhile. Oh, it's not very good at all. What's wrong with you? And the first ten minutes, or the Wait, first Are you five talking minutes, about when the bad guy comes into the show? Yeah, it's just not interesting anymore. It's yeah, just, it's yeah. just boring. But I do it's like just... the talking dog, and I like Kevin. The talking dog is great. Well, you're the talking dog. That's why you like the talking <laughs> dog. You're exactly like the talking dog. Uh, but uh, but the first five minutes are. Like... <sighs> Don't oh, you're going to get weepy. It's Don't just, cry. you know, it's just very difficult for us who have feelings. For okay. us who, like, uh, be, yeah, see. yeah, pretty much. Who Us who have, like, a very hard exterior and try to project manliness and, uh, and, <laughs> and hide like, beneath uh, the mask. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But inside we have a squishy little brown heart who, uh, you know, that, that will, your heart be, will implode. <laughs> yeah. Most hearts, well, most hearts are kind of brown. Mine's just a little browner. And it just, like, yeah, it's bad. It was bad. I think you need Don't... to see a doctor. Plus, how do you know the heart is brown? That's no, no, kind of no, weird. No, 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 no. Enlarged hearts are good. 
small hearts are not that bad. No, uh, enlarged well, hearts either. means you have like Marfan syndrome. <laughs> <laughs> What's well, wrong with you? <laughs> that's why I said it was. That's why I said it was uh, bad. Why? Yeah. Man. So don't have big hearts. That's what I almost, said. Almost killed Lincoln. What? What? Anyway. That's uh, right. Yes, that's true. They if they you, okay, had hey, more fans in Rome. Uh, sh- yeah, shut up. Okay, so here's the here's the thing about Ro- this is the only thing that's important about Robert E. Lee. Wait, we were talking about up. It was in the. Oh, I told you all the things. Why are you bringing up the Confederacy him. again? God. We were talking about Robert E. Lee. We were talking about spicy. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Well, let's talk yeah, about spicy. Yeah, you said spicy. the Pope. Jeez. I thought we were done with spicy. I mean, that was just funny, and then we all yeah, got we over. got it, okay? We're <laughs> Southerners. We're just trying to keep quiet, to keep the peace, you know, to make all the white people happy and all the brown people happy, but, you know, whatever. Uh, just you're not so good at making the brown statues. people happy. We're okay with that, so. You're not trying so good to keep at making shut. Happy. They're all in my backyard now. I have, like, like, like a little garden where all the statues are now. All right, uh, Sean Hannity. Shannity. Oh, Shannity. Oh, Shannity. Oh, um, Shannity. Shannity's got I don't, some problems. I don't, I don't, I don't understand how people can still follow him. I, I mean, I guess I, I guess I do. I can understand why people still believe in him, insofar as stupid conspiracy people believe stupid things already, right? So it doesn't matter what he does. They're able to to figure out a way to s- still have faith in him. But when this scumbag idiot, who, by the way, I have to pat myself on the back for, because I have been calling himself a scumbag... I have been calling, calling him a scumbag idiot for <laughs> years now. I can barely talk. Uh, and and it's, it's becoming more and more clear to everyone else. But when he says, I have absolute proof that Hillary Clinton killed a DNC staffer to stop WikiLeaks from leaking. And then, on the day that he's supposed to have proof, he says, out of respect for the family, I'm not going to talk about it. Are you fucking kidding me? Like, if you actually had, like, think about it for half a second, conspiracy theorists, use the last tiny spark of intellect that's left in your last dim wit that still can spark and think about it for a split second if he actually had evidence of this conspiracy hillary would go to prison trump would get four terms just like fdr uh republicans would have a stranglehold over government if if any of this was true at yeah. all if there was an inkling of it being true if if it was true and the family objected it, even more strenuously than they are now which they are strenuously objecting history would crap on that family they would ignore they yeah. would not give a damn about what the family said so why is he giving in after defiantly saying that he's going to continue despite what the family because he's a scumbag because he's a scumbag liar piece of shit and the only reason that he does his show is for money and to suck up to Trump. We all know it. I mean, I don't know. How could you, how could you deny that? It's the most if obvious If all the thing advertisers the leave, will Fox hang on to him? Stop no. that tip-tapping, no. both no. of you. Oh, because... sorry. I was looking up the name. Okay, th- this reminds me of... Uh, no, of course he won't. Remember That's what happened to Nick... O'Reilly. With, That's it was, right. Look, it was the same thing with O'Reilly. Same they thing. They stuck by him. They, until they, the advertisers they, left. They didn't, yeah, until they started losing advertisers, that's when they that's when they discovered their moral center. Then their moral, <laughs> their moral compass. They found once, it. It was under the couch. Once their moral uh, compass started pointing to their wallet, then they were like, oh, shit, oh, we're a Christian. We're all Christians here. We can't have this. So that's what's that's what's gonna happen with Hannity. I mean, yeah. I, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say he's gonna leave. Uh, he may not. He may survive if, this. But if they but if, cared what the family thought, then what about that whole thing with Nick Berg? He was beheaded in 2004, and the dad was like, "Oh no, no, don't talk about it." And you know, I'm still against this war and blah 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 about Bush, but we still talked about it because it was evil what they did, and we had proof because it was on the video. So what was he going to say? Oh, I have a respect of Nick Berg's dad. I'm not going to talk about the evil atrocities that were committed on film by these people. What? She's laughing at you. 
I'm not laughing at you. I'm just laughing because somebody just said that I was being holier than thou for not agreeing about the journalist getting punched. You're you are quite pious. <laughs> you, <laughs> this is true. <laughs> That's, we call you my Pope. favorite tweet. I, I think I want to frame this. You're Pope <laughs> Pius the Fourteenth because she Pope puts, Pius the Sixth Thirteenth is on the Young Pope on HBO. I recommend to watch it. So you are now Pope Pius the Fourteenth, the first oh, female. Oh, like you're holier than thou. Just you. You, <laughs> you, you put the you put the pie in Pius. This is true. Um, um, if Pi was impious, I'd eat it. Yeah. This is what I don't get. This is what I don't get. Impious is spelled the same way as impious, but it means different things, right? Nobody knows what that word means. To you be made like, it up. To be like an imp. Impotent? Like, imp, like impish? Impish? Imp, imp, no. Uh, God, wow, you're so obsessed with that. I, I wonder why. I, uh, I don't want to know. Uh, um, you have to keep that uh, in the other DM. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, don't do that. Oh um, my gosh! Everybody is like freaking out about these the the the, the Sean Hannity things. I'm just looking at all this like who? <laughs> well, he decided he was going to go on vacation a day or two yeah. early, and it, so then it, he came what? out with that it, tweet saying, "Will." But what's it? What does the tweet say? It said something about um, Will. Did he speak about himself in the third person in that tweet? <laughs> I gotta find it. I don't know. He's been off the, the off the rails lately. But th- this strategy by Sean is not gonna work. He probably will be pulled because it's the same thing that happened to O'Reilly. And the reason it didn't happen to Rush is because it was all. I mean, there's so. I mean, it's all local affiliates. You can't. You it, th- that that would. It's almost impossible. But with a national show. And you get get national ads pulled from a show like that. I, there's a 50 percent chance he's gone in the next month. Yeah, he did talk about himself in the third person. He said, "Did Hannity do last show?" <laughs> <laughs> You're Hannity. Shouldn't you know? And shouldn't you just use a pronoun? I don't know. You tell us. <sighs> and I'm laughing about all the people that are. That are that are not gonna buy the products that did he leave? What me? Did he? Oh, did there you go. Okay. No, you guys, oh, are just, never... you guys are just chattering on, chattering on like little uh, ants. We're shattering. Are, uh, sh- seen you're all, like, shattering first... on like little ants who are trying to bother a majestic buffalo. And uh, I don't, I don't know. Majestic what, buffalo. Know. Like I've seen people saying they're gonna drop USAA insurance because oh, they. Geez. But I'm like. I'm like, let's call this the Hannity tax. <laughs> That's what you're Jeez, doing. That's so stupid. Uh, why would you? It doesn't make any sense. Oh, I don't. Yeah, I. Yeah, it's it's. I don't know what to say about it. I can't. I mean, like, Hannity is such a brazen idiot. I am shocked that there that his that his followers are so you know supportive of him. But I guess they are. I don't. I don't. I don't. I. Don't, I I have no clue. How many stories is Fox gonna have to like retract and stuff? Yeah, I mean they've done a, they have they've had to retract a lot because of yeah. him. You know why? Yeah. Because, because he reads Gateway scumbag pundit. That's why. Yeah, like he, he airs these idiotic stories from Gateway pundit that are just uh, on their face, just boldly <laughs> boldly you know, wrong and 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 uh, <coughs> just completely misleading. Whoa. Oh, you oh, all Matt's right? Dying. Matt's dying. Yeah, sorry, I don't have a mute button on my microphone. Oh, Gianforte. My microphone. Gian... <laughs> Gianforte just beat up Matt. They just beat up Matt. Oh, oh. I broke my glasses. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm, I'm studly and manly now. Okay. <laughs> God, you hurt yeah. me. Yeah. We have the best sound effects on this podcast. We do. Yeah, him hacking up a, hacking up a Symphonia Exigua. I don't know what the, it, this microphone that I bought. It was like I thought, oh, okay, I'll get a cool microphone. There's no mute button on it. I like to have to actually go to the little thing on my computer and press mute. Yeah. Yeah, that's interesting. I have a mute button on mine, so yeah, that's I don't what know. I do. That's really weird. Um, yeah. Yeah. When I, well, I, I want to. What I the wanna, little people do. Yeah. When I want to hide, 
how many uh, how many you know beers I'm drinking. Uh, oh, I, I, oh, hit the, I, hit the, I hit the mute, but I guess you know you're gonna have to step it up for your own improprieties. Yes. Anyway, hey, can we talk about Bob Beckel for a minute? Oh, okay. Yeah, what the heck, Bob? Can I just say I really liked Bob Beckel, and mm-hmm. I was happy that he came back. That's because you're a squish. You're a squish liberal. I think I am. Maybe yeah, I yeah, am I the know. most rhinoish person <laughs> on this podcast. Yeah. No, I liked I him really too. liked yeah. liked him, and man, that made me sad that Bob Beckel was leaving. <sighs> no, he wasn't in a grocery store. He just did it online. <laughs> I mean, do you think he really said it, or do you think he got swept up in the kind okay, of the okay, so this cleaning is... <laughs> house well, type thing? So this Jeff, is... he probably said something. I mean, so knowing I his personality, to, I have, to, I have yeah. to be very, I have to be very careful here. To be very careful, I do believe that he said something, and I can't say why, but I well, do. Well, I mean, believe... just seeing his personality, I would believe he would say something. Yeah, that's just the kind of thing. That's just the kind of thing you expect. But he he didn't mean it. Uh, he you know he it was probably a joke. That it was it was a joke that people can make 50 years ago that you can't make. They can't make anymore, now. Yeah. right? And the person who heard it you know probably uh, didn't want to give him any leeway in the way that right. many of his friends do and many of the people on the show do, and that's how that happened. I, I think it's it's uh, it's really a shame because uh, because yeah he is he's very entertaining he's a very fun part he of the is. show. He is. What and, did he uh, say? Like I'm going to Popeyes. Hey. He said. No. You want some? He I know you want some. Complaint. He made some kind of complaint about the IT, IT person. Guy, that, yeah. Who's yeah. Black. The IT guy yeah. that was coming to fix his computer. Yeah. 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 I, you know, he. This is the, what 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 liberals do is that they get incensed about. Um, the racism of everyone else so that they can excuse their own personal racism. This is what they do about everything. Like, yeah. you know, they they excuse their personal um, moral failings by being obstreperous about everyone else's moral failings. Um, but, uh, that was a big word. I was very proud of that. But I don't <laughs> think he's like that. I, I, don't, I don't think... Uh, I don't... I, I think he that... He's like a little mini super that's like that compliments you so you don't do. have to compliment yeah 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 you yeah, can't yeah. count I, on us to do it so this is really is really bad the podcast is really bad for me because uh it's exposing to me my own like uh vanity <laughs> that i that i <laughs> like if you had asked me three years ago are you that vain i'm like no i'm not that vain but being on the podcast really exposes a lot of my my, my vanity anyway yeah it exposes so... a lot of my meanness <laughs> Right. This is what social media does. It's like, it's the the, the worst angels of our nature, right? Um, <laughs> and it exposes nothing about Matt. It exposes how funny he is. <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh no, Matt exposes um, Matt exposes it. himself in stop different it. ways <laughs> that you don't need to know about. <laughs> I don't know what's going on Jacob in the other DM. I don't or... know. Jeez. Uh, Let's go punch some people. Let's go choke slam people. Let's go do it. <laughs> I think we're done. I think this is over. No, so. it's not. We gotta go choke slam. I didn't. I didn't make fun of uh, Hannity enough. But maybe I'll. Maybe I'll do an extra little podcast for the 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 Patrimom Patri 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 Pantheon the Papillon Papillons the Papillons yeah Popophiles. Mm, no. No. Uh, oh, we have a new one. What was the? There was a somebody just pledged five bucks this week, and we appreciate it, but I don't remember who it was. So. Oh wow! Really? <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, lady. Um. <laughs> but I we, hope it was a lady. It was a lady. I'm pretty sure. Um. <laughs> I think we need to donate. I think uh, Trump wants a Patreon for NATO. This, see, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to say their name. So somebody donated, uh, somebody pledged five bucks. Joshua, wait a minute. Is this, this is a I told issue, you right? it wasn't a woman. Oh, wait. no, no, no. <laughs> Lori, Lori earlier also pledged $20, man. You can't, po- you can't possibly like this podcast that much. Come on, Lori. Come on. Uh, 
Ben Carson is right. Lisa, pledge five bucks. I really appreciate it. So there we go. So we were. I was thinking of doing like a. Do you guys remember Reading Rainbow? A Reading Rainbow. Reading Rainbow. I think whenever I get a bird in the sky. In oh, wait, no, no, I'm not thinking about. It. I'm thinking about Romper Room. You can fly twice as high. Do you remember Romper Room? Romper Room. See? No. Romper Room. You just said Reading Rainbow. You said Reading Rainbow. R- Romper Room was another one with a. From... I see soup. Yes. And I see Jessica. That one. Yes. That's what and we need I to do with our. Sean. That's what we need to do with our followers. How great would and that I be? And I see Steve Bannon. <laughs> I see Jared. And Ivanka. And Melania. Okay. That whole picture we... was like. Like a Jew. Oh, yeah. Trump, a Jew, and the Pope are in the Vatican. Jeez. Okay. All right, we got to shut this down because I see this getting getting really bad. Uh, where you can we'll find... save the bad parts for the extra cast. Yeah, that's right. You can find uh, Apex Legoman on at Ivanka Trump, and you can find Matt at Eric Trump, and you can. Hey, can I ask you about that CBO question now that you have time? I mean, I, I, you know, I tried to ask Shane, but we didn't have time. Oh, yeah, yeah. Go okay, uh, so uh, yeah, you have time? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Um, wow, that's so really gonna, mean. That's really mean of you not to throw him to the ground. Oh, are you supposed to doing the bit again? We're doing the bit again? Yeah, well, I, can't, I, I know, I, I can't. I don't like I know, this the first time. Yeah. I just... <laughs> Ah, you broke my glasses again. Hello, gringos and gringettes. This is Little Super. I just wanted to let you know that we are now doing this Patreon thing where you can sponsor us if you want to hear the extra drunken podcasts that we do after we finish the show that's where they're going to be available so if you want to do that go to our patreon i don't know how you do that just google it or something i don't yeah i I don't know anyway see you later bye